you built this house yourself, didn't you? I did. When? I'm still building it. <laughs> the building goes on to this day. It's the solar shower, but it never gets very hot because it's in the shade. So it's great on a hot day. On a cool day, it's kind of painful. It's a Sunday night. I came home after the movies. It was late, and I'm under the shower, and I'm looking up in the... The Milky Way was just like super bright and you know, it was like new moon or something really dark out so the stars were just jumping and I'm washing off going, wow, what an amazing view. Nobody has a shower like that. <laughs> Lady, get under my wing. So then the, the following year, the festival started. It is just a celebration of life because we all suddenly realized how tragic it really is. And, uh, you're here one moment and gone the next. And so if you don't live your life, if you don't celebrate your life, what do you have when it's all over? And he goes, well, there's only one guy to talk to, that's Vishu McGee. Uh -huh. so, uh, so I got a hold of Vishu, and uh, I think kind of the underlying idea that I had when wanting to build this home is that I've always believed in the concept of think different. And I wanted something that was organic. What I loved about this property was the the wilderness, the mountains. It was the land that I really fell in love with. And I wanted the house to organically grow out of the surrounding environment. And so I came to Vishu and I said, you know, I want something that's built out of earth, stone, and wood. When I asked Don what sort of house he wanted, he began by saying what he didn't want. He didn't want Pueblo style. He didn't want territorial. He didn't want A-frame, he didn't want ski chalet, he didn't want alpine, he didn't want log house. So I said, great, you've told me what you don't want, and you've rejected the entire regional vernacular, what, what do you want? He said he wanted a house that felt like it belonged in the environment, both artistically and emotionally and in the environmental sense, that it responded at all these levels to this place that he, in particular, really, really loves after a, a 10 year search for a building site. We have stone from just over the mountain in Mora. We have vigas and latias from the Taos Valley and the mountains around it. Even the mud plaster on the walls is taken from the site right here, which fortunately is blessed with a good stash of micaceous clay. So, uh, natural materials which carry uh, both an energy and the uh, the quality of being worked by hand and installed by hand and incorporating the energy of the plasterers and the carpenters and the craftsmen, all of these contribute to a, a real palpable uh, living sense. These are life materials around us that come from the natural environment and connect us to it and reinforce that whole sense of dynamism and of life and of uh, authenticity. We used to plant and raise our own foods and all, and raise our own animals for meat and stuff like that. We used to do. We used to make our own soap, our own candles, our own brooms. We used to weave, card, and spin, and make our own sarapes. We used to do uh, dry all the foods. There were no refrigerators, no electricity, no nothing. And up to age 15, the only thing my family bought at the store was coffee. A family would start with two or three rooms, and then every year they would add on a room. And they had a beautiful adobe home, which, which was a palace to most of us, you know, that own adobe home.
after all.